And welcome to the stream. Wow, I the way I have us arranged, I'm actually taller than Hedge today. Hedge, <laughs> can you say something to make sure that your audio is okay? Certainly. Hello, everyone. How are we all doing? I'm Hedge. How does it work, guys? Do we have sound issues? Not seeing any complaints of no sound. So. Yeah. We good? We good? Morning. Good, all good. Let's go. Let us go. All right. So, welcome to the stream. My name is Akshay. I'm a community manager for Fat Shark Games in the East Coast of the United States. And with me, I have. You have Hedge, also a community manager here at Fat Shark Games, uh, based out of the southern coast of the United Kingdom. All right. I'm going to very quickly make Hedge taller than I. So, this is a little bit uh more okay there we go now, now we're kind of on the same level i think this is okay i think that works i'm gonna bring my mic a little closer to me there we go all right so today's stream we're just gonna have a chat we're gonna talk a little bit we're gonna talk about like 90 percent 99 percent dark tide and one percent roman tide um i know the question on everyone's mind is our new release date our new release date. Our new release date is 30th of November, which is a little uh, later than we last mentioned, I think, um, before this week's announcement. All right. And I know we have a lot of questions surrounding that. So we're going to jump right in. We're going to answer some of the questions that we've seen on the channels, and we're going to try to answer them as they come into the stream and just have a chat with you guys. So let's start with what, what caused this new sure i mean i guess we just i mean predominantly we just needed more time um you know there's the swedish tradition of going away in july and um taking a bit of a vacation and i think we all just took a bit of stock and sort of played through the game and um you know just dabbled around in there and just thought you know the, we could really benefit from having just a little more time to add some polish uh, to some of the systems to improve stability to uh, improve performance um all the good stuff that you kind of really want on a, on a day one of a game um, and instead of just sort of sticking sticking to the date we'd previously given, we just felt, you know, let's just take the time to get it right and, and ship the game that everyone kind of wants to play in the state they want to play it in. Um, yeah. And another question you get, are, are we in development hell? <laughs> development hell? No, I mean, that's, that's kind of a special place where a project doesn't have a head is without direction or any real vision. 
Um, we just kind of just, we just need a bit more time to get the game over the finish line and make sure you know we deliver on the quality you expect of Dark Tide. Um, so no, not development hell by by any stretch of the imagination. This is this is not a repeat of uh, of Duke Nukem Forever. Don't worry. When are we going to start seeing more information? I post. Sure. Um, well, we're coming back off holiday, um, so even with the new date, we, we're not going to stop sharing information and we'll continue to communicate with you all about um, where we're at with the game. Um, I would suggest looking to Gamescom as the next sort of big moment where we'll release more information on the game and there'll be some more stuff to follow that as well. Um, juicy dev blogs, all, all the good stuff on the systems you're kind of expecting to learn more about. Okay, and what came with our announcement? What else? I'm told they can sign up for Indeed. So um, we'll be running a suite of uh, different kinds of tests uh, between now and launch, um, from technical tests to sort of beta samples. Um, so yeah, sign up. Uh, I don't. I haven't got the link handy right now, but we'll make sure the link uh, gets put into chat shortly. Yep, I put it in chat. Um, right yeah, there, we go. Um, so yeah, sign up. Uh, share with us your info. Like, there's a bit of there's a few questions on the sort of spec of your computer. Um, yeah, do it. Well worth it. I am told my mic is cutting out, so I'm going to remove the noise gate. Is that better, guys? Yes, okay, it's my noise gate. Okay, I need to get a little bit more of an advanced setup. Maybe maybe I can talk to the powers that be at Fat Shark and ask, can I, can I have this equipment, please? <laughs> All right, um, so with the signups, if someone signs up, when do they learn whether they're selected to participate? Yeah, it's, um, I mean, it could be very soon. Uh, we're expecting to communicate to, you know, the people who are eligible for the first test, um, pr probably within the next week, maybe even as early uh, as this weekend. Um, but yeah, soon, within the next uh, seven days, people who are coming to join us for the first test we run um, should hear within the next week. And if someone's sending you screenshots saying they got in, they're lying to you, they're trolling you, what? it's not real, don't believe the mm -hmm. Photoshop, so we haven't mm -hmm. sent out anything yet. Yeah, we have seen some of the Photoshops and they are pretty good. Pretty they, they, they are pretty good, but they're not real. <laughs> no, they're not real. Yeah. Uh, so how, how do we choose testers? Does everyone who signs up get a chance to test? Um. It depends really on the type of test we're running. So the first test that's going to be coming up will be like a network scale test, a bit like a technical test. Um, where we want to throw some bodies at the servers and get them to all log into the game at the same time and just see how things scale, how things fall over. We fully expect it to fall over. I think it would be a surprise to us if it all went smoothly. Um, but that's the kind of thing you want. You kind of want to get those gremlins out of the way and get that data early. Um, so no, not necessarily everyone. Um, the first test will also have slightly higher system requirements than the sort of the release of the game would have. Um, so we'll be we'll be picking people in order to sort of get the best so, the best sort of representative example of hitting the servers as hard as we can. I apologize if you heard my stomach growling. I haven't had breakfast yet. It's six <laughs> o'clock where I am. So. All I had was some coffee. I, I am doing this with a kind of as much energy as I can. All right. So do we need a specific, does someone need a specific setup to test? And if they're on an older setup, does that disqualify them from testing? Um, no, it doesn't necessarily disqualify them. But I, like I say, for the earlier technical tests, we might be looking at um, sort of slightly higher system requirements. So no, we don't kind of want to bring people through the door if it's going to be you know, a less than I, you know, a less than good experience, I suppose. Um, so no, it wouldn't exclude from potentially future tests, but the earlier tests perhaps. Except BioShift, we know you play on a Mac. We see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I will say, I said this in the Discord, but if you're, if you're playing on like Windows 2000, we might have to like not let you in, so. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If, if, you're, if you're gonna try and load the game through through DOS or something. If then... someone manages to get Dark Tide loaded through DOS, I think that we, we should give them something special, but. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, will I will personally draw you a unique portrait frame. Yeah, a unique, unique portrait frame in the old school blue and red and 
DOS colors. Beautiful. <laughs> what does the upcoming test focus on? Um, so as I said, it's most, mostly network stability. Um, how do the authentication servers work uh, when lots of people are hitting on them at once? Do our services scale? Do the servers scale? You know, it's, a, it's essentially a, a, a kind of prove it out for the technology that drives sort of networking behind the game. So matchmaking, uh, all, all that good stuff. Um, we obviously want to make sure we, we put some bodies on that before the game comes out. Because uh, the last one we want to do is have a day one, you know, fire. Um, so yes, that will be the, the focus of the, the first test. And how much of the game will people get to play? Oh, it'll be pretty, um, pretty chopped back version of, of the game. It'll essentially be a slice that really focuses people on hitting the systems that we want to test out. So there won't be all the levels. Um, there won't be all the weapons. There won't be um, a lot of the features that you might expect in, in the hub from things like crafting or even even progression, I think, might have been paired back as well. Um, so it will literally be you get in and you try and join some matches and just hit hit those systems that we're going to have to try and stress. Uh, so no, it won't be a full game experience uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I'm going to mute myself because people are like, I heard the stomach, I heard your stomach growling. <laughs> so that way you guys don't hear like ogre and snarls that my stomach is making. <laughs> when is the first test? Um, that is uh, a great question. Um, we'll be able to talk more about it, I think. Um, next week, um, like I said, we'll be reaching out to testers hopefully within the next seven days, and that won't be too far in advance of when the test would be. So, if that gives you an answer, roundabouts. And if people are not selected to test, will they miss out on any rewards or anything special? No. Um, for these tests, because they're kind of on an invite basis based on some criteria, uh, we won't be offering sort of rewards for the release game when that comes along the reward is kind of taking part in the test and getting to to join in on setting fire to things and watching uh watching a watching everything burn ever so slightly all right and the last preset question before we open the floor to q a is what will happen to sienna's fourth career now that we've announced a new date sure um i mean we haven't given a date we still haven't given a date uh for sienna's career um, but obviously the delayed dark tide does mean we'll be holding on to some of those um those delicious fermentide 2 developer resources a little bit longer just to get the game out the door um so yeah whilst we we haven't technically delayed the career um the, the wait will probably be a bit a bit longer um than than you would have imagined chat i see you guys like talking about the food you're making like don't don't that's cruel that's cruel <laughs> How cruel. Someone's making some meat-filled bell peppers. Oh, that sounds oh. amazing. Bit of rice in there. Some spices. Delicious. Sorry, I'm not helping. So go ahead and ask your Vermintide, Vermintide Dark Tide delay and test questions. Dark Tide OST release date. I don't think we've given one yet. I don't um, think we've given one. Last I heard, they are putting some final touches on it, and Jasper wants to make sure that the OST is in the quality and glorious music that you come to expect from him. So he yeah. is working on some final tweaks and touches. And we don't want to release the OST without him going, it's done! Otherwise, we might upset him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, one of the, a little bit of insight, I suppose, is that actually the soundtracks you hear in the game are not something you can just put, you know, I'm going to sound like a boomer, but you can't just print them to CD. Um, they're, they're, they're not built as like standalone tracks. They're kind of woven into the game and they, they peak and trough. So you have to kind of remaster them as standalone uh, tracks that have a you know, a beginning and an end and aren't sort of loopable or, or intended to be embedded into a gameplay loop. So it takes some time, actually. You have to kind of go through each of the tracks and sort of condense them down into a nice, reasonable four minutes, three three or four minutes, you know, um, track length. So 
I think that's where he's at, right? Will dark tide tests be done through a private client or through Steam? Um, for Steam users, they'll be done. They'll be through Steam, um, most likely uh, through an, through a separate app to the main the main game. So, like a testing testing version of the game. Uh, people are asking about you know whether there's a possibility for a versus mode in Dark Tide and and things of that nature. And the answer is we want to get the game out before we look that far ahead. So anything's fair game, but we want to get the game out first. Yeah, for sure. Um, Tra Traveltino asked, um, will there be like more classes uh, like akin to Vermintide 2? Um, I mean, we haven't, announced anything of that kind um, but the new system of like how the characters work with character creation and being able to stack them in lobbies um, it does sort of make it easier for us to add uh, new, new characters in um, given also the sort of flexibility of how we've worked with VO this time instead of having sort of set characters with set voices and, and sort of set interactions in, in the vermin type sense um, I mean I would say it's entirely possible you'll see sort of additions to the game after launch uh, someone asked, do we prefer Vermintide or Darktide? I'm a Vermintide person. I think Hedge is a Darktide person. <laughs> I am indeed. I like guns that go pew pew. I'm just um, going through the chat. What's the status of crossplay? Is there crossplay? I know you answered some of this on Reddit, so why don't we kind of reiterate what's going on on here on the stream yeah so um yeah the status of crossplay is um that we're we of course see the value in it um and we'd really love to have it uh, it is something we're working on um but until it's done it's working it's in the game it's tested and it's going to be shipped um we're just going to tell you to to not expect it um if, if i'm just being as, as candid as i can be uh, we don't want to make the same mistake where we think something's going to be possible and sort of make promises of that ahead of launch only to find out that it was much more difficult um, than, than we first thought and those from sort of historic Vermintide 2 times will know what we're referring to um, so yeah don't expect it but do know that we're we love the idea and we are we are working on it I hope that answers your question in a satisfactory way I've heard about a hub to meet other players like Tarshorn keeps everyone can join is that a thing um, it's, yeah, it's kind of a thing. Um, so the, the, the social hub in, in Dark Tide is much more social than it was in Vermintide. Whereas obviously in Vermintide, it was just you and your, either you on your own or you and your friends. Uh, in Dark Tide, you'll be able to encounter other, other people you may never have met before um, hanging out in a social hub. Um, you get to know them or go on a mission with them or just ad admire what they're doing or follow them around or, or whatever. Um, so yeah, it should be a much more social experience than it has been uh, in our previous games. What's your favorite class in Dark Tide, and why did you choose Psyker? I mean, Ogren. Sorry. Yeah, definitely Ogren, um, because he's massive and funny. Um, yeah, he's good fun. Um, I will probably main veteran just because, just because um, I'm a fan of guns. But my, I think my, like personality-wise and just sort of game presence, I think the Ogren, hands down, wins it for me. You pay to go see a good night, comedy night. Uh, someone asked me over DM, will the Imperial Edition still be available to purchase after release? Yes. Yeah, the Imperial Edition isn't like a pre-order only um, thing. Um, it'll, it'll always be available, I believe. Um, through, through Steam, you can either... A new player will be able to buy it outright on Steam, or if you already have the, the regular edition and you fancy it upgrading, um, I think that should be an option as well. Yeah. And people have been asking if they pre-ordered the game, does that guarantee them a spot in our playtesting that they're signing up for? Sure. So the ones that are being signed up for, no, I don't think um, pre-ordering. No, I, I, I can tell you pre-ordering doesn't guarantee you a seat on that table. Uh, the only way to get into those tests is to sign up. Um, it's not to say that, you know, 
uh, we won't be able to offer something for pre-order um, players in the future, um, but we'll probably talk about that closer to the time. And do you have, people are asking, are you a coffee person or a tea person? 100% coffee. Used to be tea, actually, um, in my ute, but as soon as I hit, I think it was tw 20, yeah, it was about 20, so only a year ago, I just started drinking uh, coffee, black coffee, a little bit of sugar, perfect. Closed beta for pre-orders. So we are still defining kind of what we're going to do for your pre-orders. It will be something special but more information for that at a later date. Mm -hmm. Can you share any information about the item properties and traits? I think we want to save that for a reveal and a blog post. So yeah. not right now, we can't talk about it, but soon. Red Moon asked if I'm a water person. I don't mind water, but it generally has to be mixed with coffee. Why is the game more difficult for a person? I'm assuming you mean Vermintide. So Vermintide is peer to peer, meaning if you host a game, you are essentially acting as the server. You are the host and then everyone else joins you. So in general, that means it's going to be a higher strain on your CPU. And if you have a, a lower CPU, and some people have figured this out, that can affect the pathing of the enemies, which is fairly CPU intensive. So it can make things easier. On, on the downside of that, you're going to be playing with some not so great frames. I personally found the game easier when I was not on a potato, but your mileage may vary. <laughs> I want people to be welcome to flying enemies when they join me. So when I was still on my potato PC, I hosted a game and someone literally came in and said, wow, whoever is hosting is on a potato and left. <laughs> and then I was having internet issues and someone, someone said, wow, this host is shit. And then there's a pause and they meant, I meant their PC, not the player. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. It's beautiful, poetic. So Rip the, Rip the Jacker asked if um, uh, there'd be any, would be de I can't even talk. Is there DLSS in the game? Um, I, I think we've talked about it or NVIDIA has, but yes. We will be supporting DLSS. Will dedicated servers be regional? Can we answer that? Um, yeah, well, they're not all going to be hosted in one place. Um, I can say that much. Um, as to where we, we deposit them around the world, I guess it would depend quite a lot on um, sort of sales metrics and uh, figuring out where people are so we can serve them best. Uh, we don't want to spin up servers where no one is playing. Um, and we want to make sure there's the right amount or the right allotment of, of hardware where, where people are playing the most so yeah um don't expect to be connecting all the way around the world uh, to your dedicated servers when playing our dark tides character is going to have as much voice interaction with each other like vermintide there's a lot of voice lines we recorded a lot yeah there there is an awful awful lot of voice lines um i mean interaction wise we're still going to try and we're still trying to deliver the same kind of quality of banter and, and interaction as in vermintide obviously it'll be slightly different you know because you can pick uh, who voices, you know, the, the voice of your character, which will alter some of the lines, um, as well as being able to technically pick the same voice as someone sat next to you as well. Um, so there'll be, you know, there'll be some interesting interactions and I think you'll have a, a lot of fun with it. Um, yeah, so we're aiming for the same sort of quality bar, but the overall experience is going to be slightly different to, to the one you had in Burn. You and Hedge were voice acting too. I didn't. I don't know about Hedge, but there was a moment when I was in Sweden where we got a message over Slack for one of the trailers and they were like, hey, we need like X number of people to record the recording room and all we need to do is just scream. We need you to record your screams. And I uh, did not take them up on that. Maybe I should have, but uh, I don't know if, if you did. 
I didn't. No, there was an opportunity. Um, I, I think it was being talked about earlier in development where I might be able to do some some voice work, but I'm too nervous for it. I think my voice doesn't carry too well um, uh, over electronic means. Um, and I was just based too far away and couldn't quite get out in time to make the cut. So I think I think they cut me. Well, they definitely did because I haven't done anything. So. <laughs> Can we address any potential premium money perfect world gear shop? Is this a thing or not? Whoa, we... What was the question? What was the question? Can we address any potential premium money perfect world gear shop? Is this a thing or not? I think they're asking about what is the premium currency going to get them. Ah, um, oh, it's. Uh, predominantly for, for cosmetics, right? So the premium currency stuff um, will initially just be like cosmetic things. Um, down the line, it might be something we use to unlock DLC. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, yeah, I think I think that answers the question. We'll have a, we'll definitely have a blog post out before launch about sort of the cash shop and how it works and what that experience looks like. I remember in the very first article, there was talk of it being much easier to change maps. What does that entail? I'm not sure I follow the question. Which article? Like yeah, um, and change maps as in to make alterations to maps or to, like from a player dev or a dev perspective, I guess is what I'm confused about. Alterations to maps. Um, I think, yeah, I don't know, to be honest. I know we're able to do more, have more dynamic options with, within a map or having one map have different objectives one time and the next time you run it, there'll be different objectives then. Um, but I think when it comes to sort of the development of altering a map's layout, I think the work is the same as it was uh, in Vermintide 2. In fact, it may be a little more complicated to change maps from a level design perspective. Any more words on mods? No, not at this time. Um, what's in the FAQ, I think, still stands. Are there any Vermintide 2 Easter eggs in the game? You'll have to wait and see. Mm, you have to have a look. Can't say. Will there be a difficult option to turn everything to max? I can tell you that internally, I think it's still true that no one's beaten the hardest difficulty yet. Is that still true? I think it's still true. Yeah, maybe. Maybe Morja has beaten it but I haven't heard it yet. I feel like if they beat it, they'd be spamming all the Slack channels. So yeah, I yeah, don't yeah. think anyone's beaten it yet. So the mission system, I'm gonna be play on the safe side and think they wanna save that for a future post mm -hmm. on how that is going to work. Um, yes, it is Deep Rock Galactic X-esque, but what that means, you'll have to wait and see a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's not exactly a one-to-one -one comparison. So what Local is- Local drama, oh, go on, go on. You can go ahead. I was gonna say, um... Local Drama Club asked if there'll be like game social features in Dark Tide. Um, right now in Vermintide, we can block people on Steam, sort of, and never see them again in game. Will Dark Tide allow us better control with who we play with and friends lists? Uh, yes, actually, it will. There's quite a lot of cool, um, definitely more social elements uh, in Dark Tide. Like I mentioned, with the hub being more interactive and more sociable, um, I think the social tooling we're putting in, we've definitely taken a lot more effort um, w with that. So. Yes, it should be easier and it should be more flexible and more comfortable to use than some of the Steam features that we relied on in, in Vermintide. What is the status of bots? Originally, we had said no bots. Yeah, um, I mean, that's a big part of another part of kind of why we we pushed some of the date back. You know, it affords us time to really hammer out some of the, the problems we, we had with bots. You know, if you were, if you were watching any of the um, footage or reading any of the articles around uh, Summer of Games Fest, you'll, you'll note that bots were in a, in a pretty bad way. Um, and there was a brief period of time where we weren't sure if we were going to be able to sort of get them in for launch. Um, 
and yeah, this delay sort of allows us a bit more time to sort of play around with that and kind of get them ironed out. Um, I'm still hesitant to say yes, day one, expect bots. Um, but that's the end. So Igor says, what can you tell you about mods? Would it be possible and what would it be? So right now, we are not anticipating mod support for Dark Tide. If this changes, we will obviously let you know. But right now, we are not anticipating it. Because we are, uh, we will be having dedicated service. <laughs> and some of these questions I see are very gameplay oriented, and I want to answer them, but our lips have to be sealed for now. So it's not that we're trying to ignore you. They, 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 that information will come with time. Mm -hmm. Gary Shovel asked if there's any word on, on Linux support. Um, I mean, so out the door, we are, I mean, we only officially support, um, you know, uh, Windows PC, so Steam and the Microsoft Store, as well as Xbox, um, when, when we put a date on that. Uh, so we won't offer official Linux support. Um, I can't foresee too many reasons why it wouldn't, it wouldn't run. On Linux, um, Linux, uh, but yeah, you'll have to kind of have to figure that one out. But because it's not support, supported officially, we can't we can't really say uh, if we will support Linux. Linux. Will the dev blogs resume soon? We we answered this a little bit in our preset FAQ. So we, again, when will we start seeing more information? Um, soon. <laughs> soon i think the next big uh the next big noises we'll be making will be around gamescom um and there'll be yeah more to follow in the form of dev blogs on some of the systems you've all been asking us about this is not the sienna career release stream i'm afraid but if, if it was i would be in Role full playing. regalia, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I would, I would allow to. I don't know if I would share that stream with Hedge. I think I might have to be greedy with it. That's fine. <laughs> when do you plan to send notifications about the beta? So again, um, you should expect to see if you got into, oh, excuse me, the test that we are going to be holding soon, earliest this weekend. If not this weekend, next week is when you'll start getting notifications. <laughs> and just to just to just uh, reiterate a little bit, Burn Master, this isn't a traditional beta test. This these first tests are planned to be technical tests. So the game will be really stripped back, a lot of stuff taken out, and it will be a, a build designed to stress the servers as much as possible. So you'll be able to log in and basically be able to go jump on a mission and try and find other people and just test all that juicy sort of interconnectivity stuff that brings people together. Um, so it won't be a beta in the sense of it will have all the features and you'll be able to try stuff out and kind of feedback on some of those things. They're just not going to be there in the earlier tests. So if you do get in, it's something to expect and also expect it to break. Um, like I was saying earlier on, if if all goes well, then that's even more suspicious than if everything sets on fire. So bring a, bring some fireproof clothes. So if someone asks, will we send, uh, will we invite people today? Well, so Dr. Icor, we will not invite anyone today, but you can sign up through this link here. Will we be able to match make with friends if we get into the test? I think so. Yeah, that's a part of the test as well. How easy is it to find your friends, get in, get into lobbies and sessions and parties and games ultimately with your friends. So, yes, the, even the technical test, if, if more, if you and some of your friends get in, um, yeah, you'll be able to play together and try out some of those sort of connectivity systems. Oh, Skull Masha asks, and I can take this question, is would not a full beta test so us all the features more and found out if anything is buggy between the features. So the thing about tests is you have to have a goal for each of them. So if you release a full beta and you say, I want to find technical issues, I want to find gameplay issues, I want to find feedback issues, 
That makes it more difficult to narrow down problems. Is this a gameplay issue? Did this come from this? So if you're specifically testing one goal at a time or a couple of goals at a time, so for example, technical test that is coming up, we want to stress the servers. We know exactly what we are aiming for. We have a measurable goal and then we can act on it versus having everything spread out and being like, ah, <laughs> where do we start? Hmm. So as we get further along, there will likely be other tests that focus on other things, maybe more fun things other than just, hey, break our servers. But for now, we our most recent one is going to be a technical test. Is there an NDA during testings? Pretty sure there is. Maybe, we'll never know. Because they'd be under NDA. So you'd never even know that a test existed. <laughs> The, uh, will, if I am in a test, will my progress carry over? Um, nope. So any of these sort of earlier preliminary tests, there'll be um, no carried over progression. Um, the only sort of test where you, you might expect progression to carry over, and again, it may not even be a test that happens, and it may not be possible to do it, but like a like an early access beta, if, if we did a, if we opened the doors like, you know, a few days early, to release dates to certain people that that one might carry over but for these tests absolutely not. we'll be um, clearing them down um, pretty regularly will we be testing the store i don't think we will be testing the store at this time nope it's it's a very stripped down version of go in play break things no mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you you will disconnect you you will crash you will be oh my matchmaking failed we're we're looking for these things we want you guys to break you know these networking things so we can fix them so we're yeah. basically shoving as many people into the pipeline as possible and seeing where the breaking point is mm -hmm. yeah so expect a lot of red error text How are we going to compensate your employer for not putting hours in due to having to spread my time between Vermintide and Darktide? I'm afraid we can't take responsibility for missed work for you playing Darktide. Sorry. Nope. It's in the terms of service with really, really, really fine print that you need a microscope for, but it's there. Mm -hmm. If you are chosen for the first beta test, will I be automatically in the next beta tests? No. So we look for certain things for each test. So if you meet uh, requirements for one test, it does not necessarily meet requirements for another. But that also doesn't mean that you're disqualified from future mm. tests. Yeah, each test we'll look at the whole list and then figure out who we need, and where we need them. Um, yeah, being in one doesn't exclude you from one, but also being in one doesn't guarantee the next one. Do you have a better chance if you have more hours in Vermintide? We cannot see how many hours you have in Vermintide from the form, so no. We can see if you've played it or not. Um, but actually, I, just being candid, I don't think it has much bearing. It's just very interesting to know from our perspective. Is there a date for the first test? So we have a date, and I think we said at earliest it'll be next week i think we said we'd the earliest but yeah, yeah that's the earliest possible yeah the plan is in the next couple of weeks um, provided everything goes to plan how long will the beta sign up link be opened i think we have it open on a rolling basis because we're gonna be running multiple tests so we don't really have a date uh yeah. in line of when we're gonna close those off so sign up yeah. when you can yeah, um, if we do, we'll probably close it just before our final planned test that's going to use this sign up form, I imagine, because there's always, you know, we always want people to sign up, the more the merrier. So, yeah, we have no immediate plans to close it. Vizmaker, I can tell you that I will not spend my time looking at tens of thousands of entries to see what your Vermintide hours are and try to call you out that way. I, I will not be doing that. <laughs> Nor will I, just to say, yeah, FYI. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. 
So I'm just looking through the chat here. I'm a little behind. Roughly how many gigabytes would the beta download be? So if you get selected for the beta, that information will be in your email, your welcome email. So again, with Sienna's question, because we have pushed back the date of Dark Tide, that does push back the date of Sienna's career. We still haven't given a date for it. So you guys, I know you guys are like, it's going to be this month or it's going to be that month. We haven't set a month. So any guys, anything you guys are like, it's happening this month, that's speculation. When she's ready, we will announce her. And I will be in full cosplay. So believe me, we're not going to be quiet about it. What platforms will the beta be on? Excuse me, technical test. Um, hey, that's a really good question. I feel thoroughly unprepared. Um, <laughs> I mean, Steam for sure. Uh, I'd, I'd actually have to get back to you about Xbox. I couldn't, I couldn't say at this exact moment in time. I think we are planning in the future to test on all platforms. But oh, tests, 100%. Yeah, tests yeah. are kind of on a case by case basis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Xbox uh, players will be able to get on on some of that delicious testing. I just can't remember which which tests are which platforms and, and when and why. I'd have to get back. But also, I mean, if you've signed up as Xbox, um, uh, there's less platform requirements for those. We can be less picky because an Xbox is an Xbox. Um, so. Yeah, when, they, when the time comes to bring Xbox players in, you'll definitely get an email. If you live in a desolate region, you can't promise that there will be servers there, but you will be able to play the game. We are trying to cover as many regions as possible. Will testing only be open certain hours of the day when it happens? So again, it's on a case-by-case -case basis, depending on the test. It will be in your info email. Some tests are shorter, some will be longer. It just depends what we're testing and how long the testing is for. So varies. Um, and to get a bit of insight, I guess a technical test or a network scale test, they're generally shorter because you kind of want to concentrate the the time in which people get in. So if you offer like a shorter window, you're more likely to get a, a, a larger surge of people through the door, which is really valuable to have uh, when it comes to preparing to launch a game like this. Um, so that's just a little a little tidbit of info that a technical test is usually much shorter than say uh, like a like a beta weekend or something. Do you have better chances if I confirm I drink coffee? I can propose that. Can't promise anything, but I can propose that. I support that. We'd have to add it to the form. Um, are there uh, minimum PC specs out yet? Uh, there, there aren't. Um, and actually, that's another part of what this technical test does, is allow us to see what sort of issues different hardware combos have um, and sort of really nail down um, the, the, the most uh, you know, relatable specs that we can uh, for the game. Um, and it's also a big part of what happens during the next few weeks of, you know, as, we, as we tie up to development. Um, the majority of optimization works kind of happen during that window. Um, so no, there are no minimum specs out there yet, um, but we'll make sure we publish them on the store page and you may even write in a, a, you know, a broad Steam announcement when they're done. I have a certain CPU. Does this qualify you from entering the beta test? Again, there are no real disqualifications. It really depends on what we're looking for in that specific test. We might want to see how does it run on higher PCs, more modern PCs. We might want to see how it runs on Less modern PCs. Again, if you're running something like Windows 2000 or DOS, we have to disqualify you just because it's not going to run at all. But there are no real minimum or maximum specs that we are looking for. What is Hedge and Axie's favorite feature, character, gun, et cetera, in Dark Tide that you can talk about? It's a tricky one, isn't there? We haven't really revealed a great deal of a sort of... Uh, let's just start though. with what's in the trailers, in the gameplay trailers. 
Sure. I mean, I'll, I'm probably most comfortable with the stock uh, veteran gear, so the you know your, your las your las gun and your your chainsaw. Um, they're pretty satisfying to use, um, and both of them are so different to anything you really found in in Vermintide land. Um, yeah, they're really refreshing to use actually. I challenge you, uh, Sam Estine, try it on DOS. Try it, but it has to be like native DOS. You can't be like doing it through like virtual box or something like that. It has to be native. And I, I will find a little reward or something to give you if you manage to get that happening. Uh, for me, I'm a psycher main. Um, I like using the staff. I come from a Sienna background, so that's kind of obvious, but I have more hours on veteran just because I'm bad at dark tide and he's kind of for me the the most direct to use. It's quite accessible. Uh, Vex Clark, we haven't actually given a date um, for Sienna's career. Um, As I said on Steam, you... each question that asks after we already answer, I will delay her one more day. Oh. <laughs> no, I won't do that, but... But maybe I will. Maybe. <laughs> Will there be any disadvantage if all play four players go Ogren? I don't know if I'd yeah. call it a disadvantage so much it would be like as if all four players are playing Bounty Hunter. You can, but do you really want to? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the Is one it the best idea? <laughs> so it's a lot of meat. So in a, in a narrow space, um, it's going to be a lot of flesh to try and uh, navigate around um, if you're in a, in a Brogren squad. So... Yeah, I think there is some disadvantages there. Plus, depending on the loadouts, I mean, he's not a particularly ranged, savvy guy when it comes to sort of sniping things. Um, so when you encounter snipers, that's going to be a good time um, if no one has the kit to kind of reliably take them out. All right, let's take one or two more questions and then I'm going to move in the small little Vermintide segment. Are issues to submitted by testers throughout the test on forms, platforms, gathering data in the back end? So in tests, we do gather data through the back end, but there will also likely be feedback forms and stuff where we will have you fill it out at the end of the test, ask your thoughts about your experience, and we collect both. So that is something that our um, data analyst does and something that, that I do. I also double as... Uh, like player research, I guess, if you want to put that. That's kind of the other thing I do at Fat Shark. I'm not just a community manager. Um, so we do both, and then we deliver those to the production team, and then they make decisions based on that. Yeah, yeah. And again, it also depends on the test. So for a tech test, we wouldn't open up a, like a, a forum category or something, because the, the, most, the most valuable feedback comes from the sort of back-end services side, so from telemetry and things that they can see. Um, but for a more beta test where we're actually testing systems or mechanics, uh, we might open up a discussion forum for people to talk about uh, some of these things. So again, it depends on the test, and I guess the bigger the test and the broader the scope of the test, um, the more uh, open those feedback avenues would be. Um, but yeah, it would be defined when in, when being onboarded to a test, you'll be informed of what your options are in terms of providing feedback or thoughts or experiences. How many fat check people read a feedback form thing on average? So I read them, the data analyst reads them. Some people come to me and be like, hey, can I read it? But most of the time when you're getting thousands and thousands, tons of thousands of feedback forms, you have to parse that and then you give the data to the team and then they read the report. So they, they have access to it. Um, but it's, it's usually easier if we give them a report of these are the issues that have been mentioned. Um, this many people said it, 
uh, these are the details. This is how it was replicated. Um, this is, you know, maybe the priority or importance that they rate it and then give them that report. Mm -hmm. And sometimes a dev will come to you and go, hey, oh, we've, we've been trying to track down a, a certain issue that we've not been able to reproduce. Has anyone talked about it in the feedback form? Um, and you can then often find a, a step to reproduce or you can find patterns or themes as to why why people have experienced a certain thing. Maybe they've got certain hardware or maybe they've, they would, yeah, in a certain combination of characters and levels. So it does definitely, yeah, we, we, certainly useful. But I don't think any one person sits and manually reads through every, every, everyone. Do the feedback forms include forum posts? Not for the technical tests. They'll have their own forums. But as we get closer, as the game releases, we will obviously have forums, we'll have Reddit, and then that's when Hedge and I and the third community manager that will be coming in will be scouring that and collecting it as they come in. So for tests, we generally want to limit to specific areas that we direct testers to just so it doesn't get too chaotic. So to recap, before we move on to this quick little Vermintide section, um, you will know whether you got into the beta earliest this weekend, if not next week. The test will happen earliest next week, at the earliest. It may happen after that. Will player equipment be restricted during tests? So, if it's this upcoming test, it will be a very stripped down version. You will not be playing the full game. Things will break. We want you to break them. We will not be releasing the full game to you. It's just a very small section of the game to test network systems and matchmaking and how, and how many people the server can handle. And again, there are no real specs we're looking for at this test. It's going to vary from test to test. We could be looking for modern PCs. We could be looking for less modern PCs. If you're playing on something that can't play modern games at all, like DOS or Windows 2000. I keep saying that just because they're so out there and old now, but if you're playing on those, we will have to disqualify you. <laughs> All right, so let us move into this quick Vermintide section. A couple of news little bits and items. So uh, people have been asking when will I find use for all my spare shillings? I have bought everything in the store. So I have spoken to production. We do have the beginnings of a plan in place. I can't say when it's going to come out, but there are some things that are in place to help alleviate that once we get moving on it. Um, there is the voting for the shortlist for the Clip It contest on Reddit now. You can access it through this link here. So we had hundreds of entries. We limited to the top four. We shortlisted the top four in each categories. Go vote and those who win will win, what is it? 100 pounds to the Warhammer merch store provided by Games Workshop. They were very generous and were like, hey, can we get some gift cards that like is a hundred pounds per gift card and up and we're all, yeah that's yeah, pretty cool and finally um in the next couple of weeks the modded discord will be running their own tournament there are some prizes at stake this specifically focuses on isolators class balance if you're interested Head on over to the modded Discord, sign up, gather some friends, and have some fun. Do it. Well worth it. They're a good crowd. All right. So that is it for this stream. Again, if you would like to sign up for the Dark Tide beta, you can sign up at this link here. And we will be sending out invites starting this weekend at the earliest. The test will be announced for those who got in uh, next week at the earliest. And again, there is no 
real deadline of when the form is closed. We're accepting applications and test applications on a rolling basis. We'll be mm -hmm. running likely multiple tests. Your progress does not carry over. And if you don't get into this test, there will likely be more. You're not missing out on any rewards or experience. We are just right now testing the network load. So yeah, come break it, sign up, get your friends to sign up. And for this one, there will be one invite wave, but it's pretty big. It's, it's, it's pretty substantial. So try not to sweat it. It's not like, you know, getting, you know, applying for a job where there's one slot among hundreds of people. It's, it's a pretty substantial amount. It's a big chunk. Yeah. Uh, Lance Reco asked very quickly, uh, do you need to re-sign it after each test? But no, once you've signed it, signed the form or filled in the form and submitted your application, that's it. You're now on the list for all future testing opportunities. Um, and Hopefully you'll, you'll get in based on the criteria of a given test. Can you stream Dark Tide on release when we release it in November? Yes, of course you can stream it. Guaranteed. And again, I will put the form in here. You can use the command exclamation point play test to bring it up. And good luck. Yeah, and, and Jura too, I think I think we've enabled the form so you can update it if you if you get a new CPU in the next couple of weeks or whatever. At any point you update your rig, I think you should be able to pop into the form and uh, update your details. And in the FAQ, we said, no, please don't stream the beta. It's NDA. So, good luck. We look forward to seeing you in signups. And we will catch you in two weeks, where Hedge will continue getting good. Get good. All right. Take care, guys. Thanks, everyone.